one sounds for New York. They bring a feast and built their own guest house. These are very generous guests. She looks young. That is a good sword. Is that everything? This feast has to be great. Yes, it is our last chance. Wolf kissed. Welcome to Ravensthorpe. I'm Eivor. Though you seem to know me already. You are well known to us. I am Toka Sinrixdottir, and the Frankish boar with me is my advisor, Pierre. We are here on behalf of Siegfried of Francia, renowned warrior and leader of the Northmen there. You look to be at home here already. How could we not be? What you have done in this place is amazing. The guest house is a fitting addition. We have also brought new tastes for your long table from Francia. If it is drink you prefer, we have mulled wine. Very generous. Some might say overly generous. Consider it a token of goodwill from the hand of my uncle Siegfried. You know, clan to clan. That would be blood if any here heard I refused a feast. So, consider it accepted. <laughs> yes, you honor us. Ravensthorpe reminds me of how Frankia used to be. Given the chance, I would visit often. And you would be welcome. Yet, you do not share your gifts for nothing. I await the boon you surely will ask of me. Tales of your judgment prove true. You can teach me some of that wisdom over ale this day. Shall we begin? Let us see if these Frankish treats hold up to scrutiny. Let us eat! How one can prefer ale to wine, mon dieu, it astounds me still. You Norse may have us Franks on the battlefield, but when it comes to drink, we stand unbeaten. If it makes me drunk, I'm glad to drink it. Are there no standards anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you something. In our travels throughout England, I have taken swords in raids and battles. This I took in a home gang against two oafish brothers in East Anglia. This by the wound twig, but is still my favorite. So you've traveled to all corners of this land before arriving at Ravensthorpe. To what end? I mean to entice you and others like you to join in the glorious raids along the River Seine. Who have you talked with thus far? Many. Jarl Heminger, Guthrum, even Hafton. Paris itself is set to be sieged. And after that, we will have amassed more riches than anyone in England has dared imagine. Let me guess how many Jarls will join you on your Frankish raids and sieges. None. They just fail to see the scale of the bounty we stand to plunder. What do you really want, Toga? Every word I have said is true, but there is something else. A new power is rising in Francia. What kind of power? The Frankish kingdoms have been united under one king, Charles the Fat. And with this combined strength, Charles has begun a slow march against the Norse villages there. He killed my father and wiped out my village. I am sorry for your father and your village. 
We have our own troubles here, in this land. With Charles the Fat in power, those troubles will worsen. After his campaign in Francia, he will come for England. Charles will come for you and your clan. His armies multiply by the day. Real soldiers and cavalry, not like the Saxon farmhands and gillers in these parts. If the Raven clan were to help you, what is it you would ask of us? Our chieftain Siegfried prepares to siege Paris and make the Franks rethink their actions against we Norse. And our longships will grow heavy with treasure in the doing. My scouts attest to the claims of Toka and her people. But before now, I saw no reason to involve our clan. Do you see reason now? If the mad King Charles does have ambitions for England, we should act. The sick threats you mentioned. He rallies the Norse there. Joining him could be our chance to push back against this new king. Or I could meet this Charles myself. And if he will not deal with me, I kill him. This problem is bigger than one king. If we kill one, another will rise. Were he murdered by a Norse from England, it could bring the Franks to our shores even sooner. Then I will be mindful of who I kill and who I ally with in Francia. Could be a stable king is the way to keep Ravensthorpe safe. Let me see the sword. I wish to examine the ironwork. No, I stole this and it is mine. Fine. If you will not show it to me, I will have to take it. Ready yourself, Pierre. I challenge you to a home gang. Enough. Toka, you came here looking for help with this new Frankish threat. And the Raven Clan will answer your call. You will? You will! I promise you will not regret this. Find Pierre when you have prepared, and we will make for Frankia at once. Thank you. to find Pierre when I'm ready to travel to Francia. Pierre, ready to leave for Francia when you are. I'm ready. No sniveling emissary from King Charles to greet us. Believe me, Wolfkist, you will feel the warmth of his welcome soon enough. The Mad King did this. We all had a part in it. Gods. 
This is what he would bring to Ravenstall. It is. We are almost there, but we cannot take the longship around Paris as the Frank's bridges block the way. Our village is inland. We will take the horses from here. The others will follow on foot. Is there danger of an ambush? Not this close to the water, and not at night. Siegfried has done his work too well. I will finish unloading the ship. You two go ahead. Many thanks, Pierre. And Eivor. There is something we should talk about when I arrive at Melun. Until then, ride safe. Mount up. The ride is not long. How will I face Siegfried? He entrusted me to gather axes. He wants me to lead one day, but I failed even this. The failure was not all yours, Tuka. Jarls are ever busy with their own concerns. Ah, just give me strong ale and a good fight. What else matters? Frankish scouts. They have been watching us closely of late. What do you think it means, Eivor? That Siegfried has not finished his work yet. Siegfried will not be finished until there are no more Franks left to fight. Scouts have been gnawing at our heels ever since Charles forced us from the north. He pushes hard against your people. You might have to lead sooner than you expect, Toga. I may not be the best one to do it. I see the longhouse. We are almost there. to be back after so long. I thought to return with an army. Oh. Welcome to Milan. We should find Siegfried. Turn. All went well, I hope. Are the others you brought coming behind you? I need to find Siegfried. Of course. Well, uh, you will find him where he always is. Ah, yes. He will be at the burial grounds, staring into the mist. It is where he begins most days. This way. grounds. Sinric, my father, lies there, with the others. We should go. There's something calming about this place. It is a beautiful land. Or would be if it was not filled with Franks. There is Siegfried. You go ahead. He may not be happy to see me return with so few allies. I will not rest, brother. We're almost there. Your honor will be redeemed. I swear it.
Siegfried. You came, Wolf's kiss. Good. You knew it was me. Yeah, sent word ahead. Your axe will be a boon to us. I heard your axe has been busy as well. Yes, I've slain many on the open field with honor, as Odin intended. It is our way. But it is not their way. The Franks dragged our Jarl Sinric from his bed and gutted him like a coward. They did not even bury him, just left his body for the animals to take. I raised this mount for him. You want me to join your side against these Franks? There is no side. There is only blood debt and vengeance and Helheim for those I split with my axe. How dangerous are these Franks? What do they want? Do you not understand? They want us as Sinric. Dead and dishonored, but I will teach them what honor means. Now we will feast, and I will tell you of my plans for Paris. This is Vida, a more noble beast I have never known. The god of vengeance. It is a good name. Many Franks have met their end beneath his iron hoofs. He hates them almost as much as I do. You placed a carving at Simeric's grave. Sinric won it from me in the home gang when we were children. It is Eikthirni who watches over Odin's hall in Valhalla. He was holding it when I found him. It was the only way I knew him after the animals had gotten to his body. will be the greatest raid since Ragnar sacked Paris and brought longships full of silver back to King Horik. We will fill our war chest with silver and our mugs with mead. Blood and glory! Skull! This is not just about silver, Torka. He hates being disturbed while he eats. You know, Ragnar returned with more than just silver. More than silver? What was it? Swords, precious jewels, wine! Stories of a dead saint defending Paris. Horik was so awed, he freed the Christians and executed his raiders. Really? That does not sound glorious. thine enemy into thine hand, that thou mayest do to him as it shall seem good to thee. Kill the heathens! Bring me Siegfried's head, and that one as well! Leave the stripling alive to tell of it. The what? Bishop Angloin, this is a good night. Oh shit. This area is off limits. No escape! Our horses give them advantage, but it will not be enough. Ah! <laughs> 
I'll run you over! Where did Engelwyn go? Siegfried, wait! What did he say to you? Toka, see to the wounded, and find the watch! They should have warned us of the attack! I told you he doesn't like to be interrupted while eating. We needed that soldier alive to question. Wild heart, level head. Oh, I like that. Where is Siegfried going? My guess is to find that bishop, Engelwin. He hates him above all others. It was he who killed Sinric. Yes, his sword brother. And your father. I'm sorry, Toga. Nothing has changed. If anything, the attacks grow more frequent, as you see. Randvi was right. I have to stop this before it reaches Ravensthorpe. <sighs> Unless you can convince their king to surrender, you may have to kill every soldier in Francia. If we take Paris, many of their soldiers will die. Charles knows that. The threat of it will force him to negotiate. That oath-breaking coward will never meet you. Even if he does, his word is worthless. Better to kill him. The problem is bigger than one king, Toga. I must talk to him. It is what my clan expects. You may be right. But I am not the one you will have to convince in the end. If you kill Engelwyn, Siegfried might be persuaded to help you find Charles. You begin to think like a Jarl, Toga. Twice our scouts followed Engelwyn to the slums south of Paris. When you are ready, that is where Siegfried will be. I will meet Siegfried there and return when Engelwyn is dead. Then, we will find Charles. Evor, over here! Speed on to the old fathers. 